it will be differentiating secant x. And one of the ways to do it is, of course, you can use the definition and you can leave a comment down below and let us know how that goes. But I will choose to differentiate 1 over cosine x instead. And if you look at this part right here, we can just use the quotient rule. And I will do that for you guys first, which we will have to square the denominator first. So let me put down cosine x, and then I will square that. And the quotient rule says I will have to then bring this up, right? So the bottom function, the cosine x, and I will have to multiply by the derivative of the top. But the derivative of 1 is 0. So we multiply by 0 right here. And then we minus the top function, which is 1. And we multiply by the derivative of the bottom, which that's negative sine x. And that's pretty much it. And you see that this part is just 0. So I will write down the following. On the top, we just have my positive sign after you multiply this out. So let me write that. And this is over cosine x and square. This means cosine x times cosine x. And let me put that down for you. And I will write down the first cosine x in red, the second cosine x in black. Because I notice I can pair up the sine x on the top with this cosine x on the bottom to be tangent x. And also, this is the same as saying 1 times sine x, right? So I can look at 1 over cosine as secant x. And this is, once again, as we discussed it, that's tangent x. So finally, we see that the derivative of secant x is just secant x times tangent x. So this is good. And let me show you guys another approach from here. So depending on if you like to use the quotient rule or not, but maybe you like this way slightly more. Uh, it's also a good practice, by the way. Anyway, here we have 1 over cosine x. We can look at this right here and bring that up by using a negative exponent. Let me write that down for you guys. This is the same as to differentiate. Let me write this down in a parentheses and then raise that to the negative 1 power. Cosine x and then raise to the negative 1 power. This means we have 1 over cosine x. This doesn't mean we have the inverse cosine. So be sure you notice where the minus 1 is. Don't put down the minus 1 right here. When you have 2, you can put a 2 right here. Any positive whole number, you know, that's okay. But once you get to negative number, don't put it down there. <laughs> that's usually the rule. Right? So inverse cosine, I know that's a bad notation. People write it with negative 1, but know the difference. This is just 1 over cosine x, not the inverse. Anyway, when we look at this right here, we get to use the power rule. So let's do that first. Bring the power to the front and then minus 1. So we get minus and the inside stays the same. Let's put that down. Cosine x and then the power is minus 1, minus 1, which is minus 2. And then don't forget, the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So that's pretty much it. And finally, it's just a clean up. Negative times negative, we get positive. This is on the top, so that we have the sine x. And now, we will bring this down to the denominator. And this is going to be cosine x. And we have this to the positive 2 power now, so I can put a 2 right here, right? <laughs> I know, that's the bad notation, but as I said earlier. And assuming you didn't see that, I will just do this real quick for you. This is just sine x over. I can look at it, it says cosine x, cosine x, and you know the deal. This is 1 over cosine x, which is secant x, that's tangent x. So of course, we have the same answer. All right. So we'll finish this up by going over the derivative of cosecant x. And you have a few ways to do it. I will just show you two ways, right? So cosecant x. Let's look at this as to differentiate 1 over sine x. And you just have to remember these identities. And once you have the 1 over sine x, you can do the quotient rule like that one. So I will square the denominator, that's sine x, and then we square that. 
And then I bring the bottom function up, which is sine x, times the derivative of the top function. Derivative of 1 is 0. And then minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. So that's what we have. And then you see this is 0. On the top, we just have negative cosine x. And you know the deal. This is sine x squared. I will write it down twice. Let me put down the first one in red and the second one in black. So this is sine x again. And you see that this is a negative 1 times that. So I can say we have negative 1 over sine x is cosecant x. And cosine x over sine x is cotangent x. So you see that the derivative of co, right, it's a co-function, cosecant, we do end up with a negative derivative. So we have negative cosecant x, cotangent x. And notice, both of the secant and also the cosecant, the function part repeats, and you multiply by tangent x right here first. And for this one, you multiply by cotangent x. So that's the connection. And lastly, I will just run through this real quick. I will write this down as sine x raised to the negative 1 power. So this is the same as d dx sine x in a parenthesis to the negative 1. And then bring the power to the front, minus 1. We see this is negative inside stays the same. Negative 1, negative 1 becomes minus 2. The derivative of inside is cosine, so be sure you do the chain rule. And then you see that this is cosine on the top, and we have this minus, and then this is sine x squared. And if you would like, of course, as I said earlier over there, you can put the 2 right here. And of course, uh, it's the same thing, but let me just write it down. Cosine x over sine x sine x. This is negative cosecant x and then cotangent x, depending on which approach that you like. Anyway, hopefully you guys find these videos to be helpful for your derivative of the trig functions. And of course, you guys have seen my seen the shirt right here. This is the derivative for you shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs>